Hello, this is Mr. Nobby from Roger Bacon High School. Today's lesson for Algebra 1 is solving absolute value equations. I'd like to start off today by talking about the definition of absolute value. You've all seen the symbols before. The bars on either side of a value mean the absolute value of 5. Well, essentially what this means is what is the distance from 0? of the number inside the absolute value bars. What is the distance from zero? And typically, if you think of a number line, that's the easiest way to consider the answer to an absolute value problem. If we were to graph five, one, two, three, four, five, on a number line, you would say, well, five is actually five spaces from zero. So the absolute value of five would be five. Well, there's another number, actually, that would have a distance of 5 from 0, and that would be negative 5. So we could also say that the absolute value of negative 5 is also 5, because negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5 would be 5 spaces from 0. So that's the definition of absolute value, and that's what we'll consider as we look at the next three example problems. Example A, the absolute value of x is equal to 3. Since we have x inside the absolute value symbols, we're trying to figure out which values are three spaces from zero. Again, thinking about a number line, there's zero. If I go three spaces to the right, I'm at positive three. If I go three spaces to the left, I'm at negative three. So the answer to this problem is actually x can be equal to three or x can be equal to negative three because both of those are three spaces from zero. Let's try example B. The absolute value of x minus 8 is 7. Just as before, we think about the two examples. The value inside the absolute value bars, x minus 8, could be 7 spaces from zero to the right, or it could be seven spaces from zero to the left. <coughs> Positive seven spaces to the right, negative seven spaces would be to the left. The distance from zero. So we're saying that this value in the absolute value bars is seven spaces from zero. So let's answer. X minus eight is equal to seven. If I want to solve this problem, I will add eight to both sides which gives me x plus 0, which is just x, is 15. And then the other option would be x minus 8. Here I'd have to add 8 to both sides, which gives me x plus 0, or just x. And I get 1. So one more time, if this value in the absolute value symbol is 7 spaces from 0, that means that x could be 15 or x could be 1. Last example. The absolute value of 3x minus 2 is equal to 10. Again, what this means is that 3x minus 2 is 10 spaces from 0. Well, if I go 10 spaces to the right, I would be at positive 10. Or I could go 10 spaces to the left to be at negative 10. In other words, this value could either be positive 10, because the absolute value of 10 is 10, or this value inside the absolute value bars could be negative 10, because the absolute value of negative 10 is also 10. And now we can solve the equation. 3x minus 2, I would have to add 2 to both sides, and I'd be left with 3x is equal to 12. And then if we divide by 3, we get x equals 4. In the other example, I would have to add 2 to both sides of the equation, which leaves me with 3x is equal to negative 8, and then dividing by 3 gives me negative 8 thirds. So our two possibilities that make the value in the absolute value symbol, that make it 10 or negative 10, are 4 and negative 8 thirds. The last thing we should always do is to check our work. Let's go back to example B. 
x equals 15 was one of our possibilities. So if I take the absolute value of 15 minus 8, does it equal 7? Well, the absolute value, 15 minus 8 is 7, and the absolute value of 7 is, in fact, 7, so it works. I got another answer of negative 1, excuse me, positive 1. So I'll insert that in place of x, just to check my work. And 1 minus 8 is negative 7, and the absolute value of negative 7 is, in fact, 7 because negative 7 is 7 spaces from 0. For example 3, we will check our work again. 3 times 4 minus 2. The absolute value of that, is it equal to 10? Well, inside I get 12 minus 2. I get the absolute value of 10 is 10. That is true. And for our last example, the absolute value of 3 times negative 8 thirds minus 2 is equal to 10. The 3's cancel negative 8 minus 2, that is actually the absolute value of negative 10, and that in fact is equal to 10, so it works. So in preparation for class tomorrow, I'd like you to try page 106, problems 22 through 30. Once you get a solution for each problem, take those answers, plug them back into the absolute value equation to test to see if you are correct.